Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Antonia. I hope you guys are doing well. I have a very fun jewelry unboxing for you guys today. And if you watched my last video partnered with Linear, then you would have seen that I unboxed and reviewed this beautiful Verme gold and sterling silver jewelry that I'm actually wearing right now. But Linear actually is partnering with me in this video as well, but they asked me to pick another brand to showcase and give a first impressions and review on. Now, I already own a lot of jewelry from various other brands. However, I wanted to pick a brand that I had no prior experience with, and my friend Lauren talks about this brand all the time, and it is Petey Paola. So this is how it came, Petey Paola is a brand from Spain and it actually ships from Spain as well. It shipped DHL, which is not my preferred shipping company. They always give me problems, but I did have to pay duties on this item and I ended up paying it up front on the website because it was just a lot easier to pay duties up front on the website than having them like ship it here and then they wouldn't release the package until I paid the duties anyways. I'm a very impatient person. Like I want the item like to release right away. So there was the option on the PD Paola website to pay duties prior to I guess arrival so I ended up doing that um, instead and I think I paid like $60 duties for this it had a rip but I, of course I already ripped it open just for convenience and this is how the packaging came so very minimal as well box is not huge which is fine and I really like that because then you know you can recycle it and whatnot and it comes with this zipped pouch which is very different a lot of times jewelry companies come with like a drawstring or something like that this one is zipped which is nice i can definitely reuse this it's a really good size as well so here it is and then the branding is on the side it says pd paola and then there's a very nice little box inside again says pd paola very giftable as well and yeah here are my two items so inside it seems that it comes with a few things as well so there is i don't know what that code is but there's something like that and then there is a little booklet on your warranty jewelry care a coupon code yeah, and then cert authenticity certificate, which is very interesting. And then they also come with a polishing cloth, which is a really nice gesture as well. This one is also branded. I don't know if you can see that. It says PD Paola on it. It's branded. And then it's just some care instructions. It says gently rub the jewelry piece with the PD Paola polishing cloth. The cleaning agent and anti-tarnish barrier within the cloth will help remove dirt. So that's really cool. It's always nice to have a small little touch like this because these polishing cloths definitely come in handy for me. I really like when orders come with those. And then I have two things that I ordered from them. So the first items, I've always actually wanted to order from PD Paola. They had in 2019 to 2020 this specific necklace. It was an initial necklace and it looked like this ring that I have on um, from Linear. So this ring is the Ilse ring and it is this multi-colored gem ring. Look how cute that is. So the stones on the PD Paola necklace that I wanted was like that ring. So it was like multicolored and then basically it was like whatever initial you want if I was an H it was an H and then it was dangling however they got rid of that design and then they never brought it back so I never ended up purchasing it because I was too late it was already gone by the time I was like all gung-ho and ready to purchase it the first items that I picked up was this this is the euphoria earrings by PD Paola. I really love the design of them. They're so cute. It's kind of like a climber. This is what the backing looks like. It's just a long gold piece. These are also verme gold as well. They're not solid gold pieces. They do have solid gold on their website as well. I'm sorry about my hands. I definitely need a manicure, but my eczema needs to die down first. <laughs> this is what they look like on the ear. Sorry, I have serious baby hairs and my ear looks irritated because this left ear of mine, it's so sensitive. This is what it looks like on the right ear. Um, I have a cartilage piercing. Obviously, I can't take that out. It's still not healed, you guys. It's crazy. But this is my only 
lobe piercing that I have and I really like how it looks. I just love that it climbs up the ear. I think it looks gorgeous and it's just a little bit different. It like fits perfectly. They're really, really comfortable and I just love the look of them. I just think it adds a little bit more interest to the ear. Even on my cartilage, if I was able to remove that and then take that one and flip it down so it climbed down this way, I think that would be really beautiful. I can't do that because my cartilage is not healed just yet. I know, it's been over a year, it's still not healed yet. But that's the first piece that I ended up picking up. The second item I got is the letter chain bracelet. This is what it looks like. It came in another little pouch as well. So initially I thought this letter was gonna be a lot bigger and I thought it was like a piece that was on top. So I thought the H kind of looked weird when I looked at it, but now if I flip it back, you'll see that it is one whole piece. Like the A is, is one whole piece on the bracelet itself. So I like how the bracelet is. I don't like how the clasping is. Um, it's not this type of clasping where it's just easier to differentiate the, but the chains are like curved so they can lay flat on the wrist and I definitely need help with it. So I can't do it one handed. I definitely need to ask someone to help me with it so I can't put it on and show you guys properly. That's one thing that's a little bit hard, but still a very cute piece. I think it's really nice and subtle, especially if you're someone who wants to dive into like the initials jewelry stuff. You guys know I have a lot of initial jewelry. Like I love having like an H or like the H bracelets and stuff like that. I think it's really cute. This one's a lot different. I don't have any kind of initial bracelet like this, so I think it's really adorable. All right, I'm super happy with the PD Paola items. In terms of the differences between Linear and PD Paola, I think Linear has a lot more timeless, classic, minimal, dainty pieces, whereas PD Paola, they do have some of those pieces as well, but they have a lot more whimsical, trendy, fun pieces. They have a whole like space collection, they have a zodiac collection, and their items are just a lot more different in look versus linear. Like, you can definitely give and take on both brands. I'm happy to have both brands in my collection because you just get different looks with them, and it's great because then you can pair them and mesh them together as well because then I can wear something like this that's a little bit more funky for me, but at the same time, like it's still very, very classic, just a little bit of fun, but then you can pair it with items like the tennis bracelet or the beaded rings that are a lot more minimal and classic and timeless. Definitely be keeping all these pieces in my rotation and I'm excited to style them for the spring summer, but also keep them for many, many years to come. So thank you again to Linear for partnering with me in this video. It was really fun, really, really different. I hope you guys enjoyed this little unboxing and review. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, underscore HelloHarley. Follow me on TikTok at HelloHarley, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!